Hey, welcome to Mike's Trains, and thanks for joining me for the next part of this series. Uh, last time, we went and we installed all this foam in here, and we actually started cutting it back. I went and finished trimming all of this back. It's all now where it needs to be. Um, you can see how it all looks. Now down here, you're going to see a pile of shavings that I haven't cleaned up yet, but there it is it's all carved up it's it's all where I need it to be so the next step we're gonna take in this is adding the rock castings um, so I wanted to talk about these rock castings a little bit uh, so why don't we take a closer look at one of those okay so here's a casting fresh out of the uh, fresh out of the mold uh, not quite fresh. I made these last night. So they've sit almost 24 hours. Um, when they're this new, uh, they're dry to the touch. They're hard. But they still hold moisture. So these are still a little bit soft. Um, but they can still be cut and worked with. Um, this will actually lighten to a lighter white when it's totally done. And you can kind of feel the moisture in it. Um, it probably needs another day or two to come closer to fully dry but I wanted to talk about cutting these and getting them installed onto the layout where we need them now this one is untouched yet straight out of the mold and this is what it looks like there's the back side um, so what I do with these is I, I generally I like to have them sitting like a flat edge right across the bottom so if this is was going to be the top up here what I would do is cut off the bottom edge of this and what I do with those is I take a I'll, I'll draw a line across a straight line and then I take my hacksaw here and I'll just run it on that straight line and just cut it off uh, it doesn't take any more than that. I use a hacksaw because I can cut it better when they're fully dry uh, and fully solid. I've used a scroll saw in the past, uh, which works really well. Um, but these aren't dry enough for that yet, so I have, I'm using a hacksaw, and uh, that's how I'm getting them cut down. And the same with if it's too long, you know, you mark it off and you cut it. You can score it and snap it. Um, if the piece is big enough and, they, and it should not shatter uh, sometimes they will it, it depends on how big your piece is like if you were to cut this in half you could score this and just put it on an edge and just snap it right off but if you're cutting off just a small amount you're best just cutting that all the way through uh, so all that being said let's get our rock face put in back here okay so let's start at this end and all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with the first casting now I've already cut these down to fit in there so I'm gonna start with the first one and we're gonna set that in right here so all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little caulk on the bottom I'm using the same 230 caulk that we used for the foam for these the only thing I want to take care not to do is to not get the caulk on the face of the rocks here we don't want to get caulk on the front the back is fine and everywhere else around is all fine that's going to kind of cover but you don't want to get it on the face if, if, if at all possible Okay, and then we'll just keep moving down until we have them all in place. As you can see, I've cut this end flat, okay, and the top is the going to go to the top edge. We left that one alone. And I'm just going to cover this. And just set it into place.
just like that. And we keep going. Okay, so now all the pieces are in, and this is as far as we're going with the rock face. Down here, we'll be doing something different, but for right now, this is as far as we're going. Now we're going to let all of the caulk dry up so that the rocks are kind of cemented into place, and then we can move on to the next step. So we'll come back in a few hours, maybe overnight, I'm not sure. As soon as I get some time, we'll come back and I'll start finishing. We'll go to the next step of this. Okay, so it's now been a few hours. And the, uh, the caulk is pretty well set. So we can go ahead and start clearing out and carving. So the next area is to carve these areas out. And these little bits here. We have to get rid of all of that in order to make this look right. So we're going to start on this end here. I'm just going to take this like this and I'm just going to lightly carve it back like that. So that's the basic idea of how we want to carve those back. And what that does is it gives some variation in the heights of our of our top level here down into the rocks. Now we'll continue going down wherever the high spots are. Here's another one here and we'll just continue all the way down. Now this area here, we're going to kind of leave this in here. I'm going to build this out with sculpt mold so that it um, blends with the rock faces. And then we have this little divot here which will continue our, our land formations and make them so it's not so straight and flat. So I'm going to finish these off a of camera and then when I come back we'll start the next step of sculpt mold all right, so I finished trimming all the foam down, and now we're going to fill up with sculpt mold. We're going to backfill everything and bring everything up to the right levels and, and get everything filled in. And this is what we're using. It's called sculpt mold if you've never used it. It's kind of a, um, a paper type. Kind of looks like this. Um, it's just plaster or some kind of a plaster impregnated into like a paper material and that's what we're using and I'm mixing this with water and I have a tub here right here that I'm, I'm mixing it in and I mix it up and it's kind of like a like a paste um, nice and thick and this is what we're going to use to fill up the rocks and get everything blended together so let's get started on that. All right, so here we go. It's very easy to use. You just kind of slap it in there and spread it around. I'm filling all the gaps that are from between the, the foam back here and the rock. All this gap back here, we're going to fill that right up. And I'm also going to go down below here in the bottoms of all of this. And we're going to fill those in as well.
And the only thing I'm trying not to do is to cover up too much of this detail of the rock. Alright, so I'm going to finish this off camera and then we'll come back and take a look when it's done. Alright, so I finished all the sculpt mold on there. Um, now it just all needs to dry. So that's what we're looking at. And then, let's see. And then I'll take you down to the other side and you can see that too. Okay, and then here's this side. So you can see it's all covered up. All the gaps and spaces are filled. Now this is going to take a couple days to dry good before I can do anything real with it. Um, as it's drying over the next day, I'll start picking off little bits and hangers that are on there that I don't want. And then once it hardens a little more, I can carve up some of the spaces that I filled with Sculptable that are supposed to look like rock. But for the most part, that's pretty much it for now. I, like I said, we can't go any further. So, uh, I think also, uh, if, you, if you wanted to see the video on how to make the uh, plaster castings, I think I'm going to put a uh, link under the video that you can check out that will bring you right to, the, uh, right to the video of how to do the plaster castings if you want to see it. Uh, it will be a link to my website, to, to the video on my website, and make it easier for you to find if you need it. Um, it will be there. So, that's it for this video. So until next time, happy modeling.